Jeremy, you guys obviously put up a, a lot of points and, and a lot of nice offensive stats. What, what was the biggest difference this week compared to the week before from the offensive line perspective? I think it was just preparation. We, uh, we didn't play our best game last week, and I mean, it showed on Saturday. And then going into this past Saturday, we just made sure to – we just had to work hard. Uh, Tuesday, or Tuesday and Wednesdays are our big work days, so we went and put in the work, and I think it showed up on Saturday. From what you saw on the film, what kind of were your biggest takeaways uh, from Saturday? I just think we played well as a group, played hard. I mean, LSU's a good team, but I think we just played really physical and just got after them. And, and moving on to Arkansas, what have you kind of seen from their defensive line and the challenges they pose? They're a really good unit. They're really physical, strong. They're going to get after it. I mean, they're, they're, it's a tough group. I guess just five games in with uh, Quincy McGee and Victor Kearney um, filling in and starting on the offensive line. Because how have you seen them kind of just mesh with, you know, guys, you know, like you, um, you know, the, who have been this line long enough and just how has it kind of fit together so far? Yeah, I mean, every game, I mean, this is their first year with us, but every game we, we play together. I mean, we're always going to just mail and you just, or, uh, just like get closer, but uh it's been a lot of fun they're they're really close to us i mean it's really fun playing with those guys what was it like for y'all y'all's group last week i think after the game saturday lane hinted that he kind of really challenged y'all specifically just what was kind of the the message for y'all all through last week we got to work we had we had a lot of things figured out and we just had to get to work i mean i think that's what we did Jeremy, what does a performance like Saturday kind of do for y'all confidence-wise, you know, moving forward, especially coming off that, uh, that Alabama game? I just think it shows what we, we can be when, when we're hitting on all cylinders, but we just got to continue to push so we can strive to get to what, what happened Saturday. And was there anything kind of specific that you think could translate from Saturday's game that y'all can apply to future games in terms of uh, offensive success? Yeah, I mean, yeah, just the preparation that we, we took into that game, yeah. Kind of on that same vein, um, when asked about it after the game, Lane was talking about the offensive line having to endure a lot of criticism, especially after the Alabama game. Was it hard to, you know, ignore or block that out, kind of especially early on? I mean, I it, I don't think it bothers any of us. I mean, we hear it, but that's I'd, I'd rather have a fan base that is frustrated with us when we're not playing well than one that is celebrating when we're close to winning big games. So. What, did. What did Jackson say after the game? I mean, to you guys in particular, anything? You guys kept his jersey pretty clean. No, I mean, yeah, he was he 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 was thrilled. I mean, he thought we had a really good game, and I mean, when you have a quarterback that plays like he does, it it, it pushes us to go out there and try to just do everything we can to keep him keep him up. Questions? 